Will the War Eagles soar to new heights with the latest commitment from this top wide receiver? Let's find out. Welcome to Coach Hayes Football, WRP Edition. Are you ready? Let, 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 let's get it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Coach Hayes Football, the WRE Edition. We got breaking news. Malcolm Johnson Jr. has just committed to the Auburn Tigers. Now, this is a 6'1", 185-pound wide receiver out of Alexandria, Virginia. He's going from Virginia all the way to Auburn, now Alabama. We're going to find out what this cat is all about. But before we do, make sure you follow me on the platforms down here below. While you're yelling out War Eagle, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that comes out on this channel. And Malcolm, you about to get WRE, my man. Let's get it. All right, Malcolm Johnson, we're going to check you out, man. Let's see what all the hype is all about. You a hot boy out here in the streets right now. All right, junior year, Malcolm Johnson Jr., number five. All right, let's see what you got, bro. Let's see. Y'all boy play daytime games, okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, kick off return. Huh, I like the fact he hit the gas. Let's go, can he get it? Got it. <laughs> hey, this Charles play out here, man. Now, I know he goes to St. Uh, Stevens and St. Agnes High School. Uh, I believe a Catholic school. Uh. Oh, let's go. <laughs> hey, man, this is a man amongst boys right now. I'm only on the second clip, and I can tell you right now, he playing around. Bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, St. Stephen's and St. Agnes, y'all cheating out there, man. Y'all cheating out there. Bro, y'all ain't even got no bleachers on the backside over there. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go. Bruh, what's happening here? All right, third and seven. A little screen. Come on. Come on, 10. I, I can't coach. I tried my best. Doing too fast. Come on, man. This playing. Y'all playing around out here, man. I don't know what's going on in Alexandria, Virginia. But this ain't looking too hot from the competition side. I ain't mad at you, Malcolm. You do what you got to do, bruh. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. What is going on out here, bro? Oh, this man like he out here running around with third graders, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Man, these dudes don't even hold up, man. Bro, we don't even have, like, bleachers or nothing, man. What we out here on the practice field? I'm loving it, dog. Hey, this go to show you I don't care where you play ball, right? These kids get caught up with Oh, I got to be at this school or that school or whatever. I don't know anything about St. Stephen's and St. Agnes High School. But guess what? If you good, they're going to find you. These dudes don't even have bleachers, man. They're in the middle of the practice field, and it's a game. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, man. Huh. Okay, a little reverse action. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, man. Hold up, Malcolm. Hold up. Poor little Timmy. No, he done got ran over dog. Hold on, quick, quick. Did you see his face at the end of the play? Watch the dude when he get up. Watch this. Oh, well. That happens. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Come on. You got to have a little more pride than that, bro. Come on, Timmy. What you going to do, Malcolm? Oh, hit him on the bounce. Good job, Tim. Oh, who was that? Come on. Tim did a great job, and then some dude come... He hit, hit him in the back. That's a coward move, bruh. Whoever that, that's why you got the flag, though. I hate that kind of stuff. Tim did a great job, threw his hands up, and this dude come hit a dude in the back, man. Look at this cat running, bruh. Doggone. Look at this cat, man. What's up with all the coaches? Look, man, we got to do something, man. We got to get some punishment going on. Look at this dude right here, man. He about to hit the cat in the back, and he about to take Malcolm. He about to take your touchdown back, man. Come on, man. That's selfish right here, bro. That's selfish. Look at this. That's straight clipping, man. You don't get no love from Coach Hayes for that. I don't mind you squaring a dude up and you hit him right between the eyes. But hitting a dude in the back, you don't get no love from me, man. That's cowardly. Come on, Timmy. <laughs> man, I can't even... I can't... Look at this. I can't even get coaching points, bro. Because it's just too easy. Like, 
I can't even say like, okay, what do you need to work on, what not? Screen action. Come on, man. Bruh. This is crazy right here, man. A little press coverage. Uh, broke his back. Let's go. Hey, now one thing I'm going to say, you talk about coaching. Now I'm going to tell you this right here. Perfect. He's got press coverage, right? I can't see this from the beginning, but there's a safety sitting over the top. Watch what he does with his route. He inside releases on the, on the corner, but watch him fade away because he's on the hash. Watch him fade away from the safety. That's a great job. Great throw by the quarterback too because he leads him away. Most quarterbacks threw that thing up the hash and Malcolm, you would have got split. But good job by both of you guys. See him fade off the hash? Because look, now this number set the safety right here. If you'd have thrown that ball on the hash, number 11, hopefully, you know, would have made a great tackle. So great job by you two, man. Huh, let's go. Uh, about time. We three minutes into this highlight. This is the first time I've seen this dude get tackled. Come on, bro. A little more press coverage. <laughs> Come on, man. This is crazy right here, man. Hmm. Cool, y'all cheating out here, man. Cool, hold up. Y'all boys out here running the hook and lateral, dog. Well, that's fourth and eight. Y'all boys out here running the hook and lateral. Uh, broke number two back. Touchdown. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's go. Hmm. Man, y'all, hey, with this cat right here, y'all, y'all do better won a championship or whatever they got going on up there, man, in Alexandria. I don't know if they got small school championships or what. Golly, oh man. Listen, bro, Malcolm, you killing the game right now, man. I'm happy for you. I'm proud of you. You know what I mean? You just committed today to Auburn, man. Can't go wrong with that choice. Great program. Coach Gus Malzahn gonna have you on point. You understand what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let me get into the pros of your game. One, everything, man. I just gotta say, you caught the ball well. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you ran your routes. They were decent. I can't say they were a super superb route running, but you got away with it. You know what I mean? That's okay. It happens. You'll definitely learn that. Okay? And then three, you know what to do with the ball after you get it, man. You know how to score. Like I said, your, minute, your highlight tape is four minutes and 11 seconds long, and you didn't get tackled till three minutes into your highlight. So, bro, you know what to do with the ball when you get it in your hand. Here's the only con I have to your game, okay? And I'm just going to say this, and I know I made a point about this earlier, that regardless of the competition level, coaches can project and they can see what the potential you have in your game, okay? But I'm going to just say this on the, on, the, on the back side of this. Sometimes it comes down to competition level. And right now, just based on what I've seen, competition level didn't look too high. Now, that's not a knock on you. I'm just talking about a con. I would like to see you, and I, I can't, you know, I can't make it happen, but I would like to see you in some tougher, tougher competition, because that way you get to see the real true grit of a player when he gotta when he gotta grind every play. You know what I mean? I know exactly what it is, man. You go up against somebody and they just they just don't have it. You know, you got a tendency to maybe take a play off here, not do everything exactly right and still be successful. So I'm not saying that's your case. I'm just making an observation, man. But with all that being said, man, I'm happy for you. Proud of you, man. I'm definitely going to check you out, man. And we're going to see what it's all about. But for you Auburn fans out there and you happy for this pick, like I said, 6'1", 185-pound wide receiver, hey, follow me on these platforms below. Make sure you follow me, man. Check me out on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook page, all right? As well as, as you yelling out, War Eagle, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that does come out on this channel. And Coach Hayes is going to holler at you.